Well, what better way to say I love you than with a home-cooked meal? And I am at the home this afternoon of Laura Finky. Thanks for having us oh, back. Oh, my pleasure, Heather. Okay. So happy. I love being with you, and I love everything that you have to make. And today, we're making some biscuits. Yes, we are. Okay, let's get started. Absolutely. Okay, what do we so, need? So we need flour. Um, we need baking powder, and then this Bakewell cream is like kind of the secret ingredient. Okay, hold that up there. Yes, what no, is it's bake Bakewell cream. So this takes the place of your baking powder. It's like a main, a, a, an East Coast thing. I've never heard of I that. I know, I know. It's aluminum free. It gives great rise to your biscuits. I know, Ooh. and you can use them in muffins too. So okay. anyway, you have to buy this online, but you can get it on Amazon. Okay, no problem. Um, so flour, the baker's cream, and then of course we've got baking soda and salt. So I've got that all together. So we'll just get going to okay. mix it together. So I pre-measured just for time. Right. So that's four cups of flour. And then this is the baking soda or the and the baker's cream. So we're gonna do Dump all that, that and the salt. In there. Yep. And then um so this gets mixed up. So I'm gonna take my rings off or this is gonna be So you're a hand uh -huh. mixer. Yes. Yeah, so okay so I have my dough hook. So I use this too so you can mix all this up or do it with your hands, but then you need, so once this is done, if you've ever made pie crust, homemade pie crust. Lots of butter. Um, yeah, that's for the jam. Anyway, oh, you okay. cut it up into tiny pieces, has to be very cold. So once you've mixed this up, that's all it takes, you dump in your butter, and this is when you use your hands, or you could put it in a food processor. You could do that too. Why do you think it has to be super cold? Because your butter has to be cold so that when it goes into the oven with your flour, if there's a steam that rises off of it. If oh. it's if it's warm, that won't happen. And okay. you won't get these flaky layers. And that's what we're going yeah. for. Yeah, and you want that in pie crust too. So it's very similar. Okay. Um, this And so you just rub this in. See how you, you kind of take that butter and you rub it into the flour. Okay. Until that gets all in it like pea-sized pieces. You can also, I've done this before too, and it works, take your butter, your stick of butter, and grate it, like on oh. a cheese grater. So that works too. I always cut my hand doing that. Oh. So, <laughs> so this works. This so works this too. is my method, but, but do whatever, whatever works, works for, for you. you. Love That's it. That's right. There are a few different options. So once you get that all mixed in like that, we're going to accelerate this for time's sake. Yes. Then you put your buttermilk or whole milk. You could use either. I'm using buttermilk here. Okay. Because it gives it just a little bit of a different... A little extra. A little extra. And then I usually just so with my hands don't get totally soppy messy to start. Because, you know, some people love that. I don't yes. love that. I'm with you. I use my dough hook. This is a Danish dough hook. It's a fun, useful tool in your kitchen. You and Jacob Dickey always have the best tools. Really? Yes. Okay, yeah. Well, yes. I mean, this is so great. I use this all the time. Huh. So then you just mix it all up. And that's coming together pretty yes, easily. Yes, it, it comes to, this is way easier than doing pie crust. Way easier. Making biscuits, anyone can do this. Okay. Literally, you can get this all done in 30 minutes. Really? Yes. Heather, you could do this. Okay. Yes. yes. I love your confidence in me. <laughs> I know. I, I mean, anybody can do this. So you can see the moisture in that buttermilk okay. is starting to form, you know, it's starting to really work in here. Now, is this going to have to, like, refrigerate or nope. anything before we if your go butter, to use it? In this case, like, my butter was really cold. So if your butter was not as cold to start with, then you would probably, you may want to pop it back in the fridge. Okay. But if your butter is really cold, then no, you don't have to do that. Okay. And you can get it all together. And so this is what it's going to look so like over here. So this is what it's going to look like. Okay. Yep. And so you'll put a little bit of flour on the top. And I, I already did a little I'll bit. shake, here. shake, shake there. Yeah, this is also a neat, this silicone thing is so great. Nice. It keeps things, you can roll out so easily. Okay. So. And we're doing heart-shaped biscuits yes, today. Yes, because it's Valentine's. And I yes. thought, oh, this is a fun thing to do with like your kids or like your grands, you well, know. Yeah. And you want to leave this a little thick. Okay. And sometimes you want to dip what your What is that, like a half cutter. inch? Yeah, it probably is. Okay. I mean, you know, you don't have to be exact, but, and then you're going to just. just not flat like a yes, pancake. Yes, yes. And see, that's what it looks like. <gasps> I love that. Literally, this is it. That would have taken me two more minutes to do. Okay. And then you're just going to stick it like that. Oven's at what? My oven is at 475. Ooh, so you, so hot. I know. So you put it, well, you put it in at 475 for five minutes. Oh. Then you turn it down to 350 I believe it is and then let that cook for five to ten more minutes for in my oven that it takes five 
Okay. Depends on your oven. Always test your oven. Every yeah. oven is different. Okay. Well, yeah. we are going to keep punching out some heart biscuits. Yes. Pop them in the oven for that five minutes. Yep. Do a little uh, switcheroo there. A few more minutes. And we're going to... Um, Come back the strawberry, um, yeah. and we're going to make some strawberry butter, yes. which we are super pumped for. Yes. Hey, if you want a copy of Laura's recipe, she has the full instructions on her Instagram page. So you're definitely want to gonna, um, go follow her there. We will link up at sayaliving.tv, but stay tuned. We're going to have biscuits when we come back.